Let's see if you can answer this GCC math question. So this is solve for x, so find out what x equals. Students find this a little bit more tricky because there's x's on both sides of the equation. So the best thing we can do here is identify which side has the largest amount of x's. So it's this side, so this is where we're going to collect them. So you take this 3x and I'm going to take this away from this side and I'm also going to take this away from this side. So on this left hand side, these x's cancel, which means the left hand side only has the 12 on this side and that's equal to the 5x minus the 3x which gets us 2x and then we've still got the plus 4. Now let's just treat this like a normal solving question. So from here I'm just going to take this 4, let's take this from both sides, so this cancels with this. Now on this left hand side we've got 12 minus 4 which gets us 8, so 8 is equal to 2x. I don't want the 2x so I'm going to divide by 2 to eliminate so 2 is now cancel, and we're just left with x is equal to 8 divided by 2, which is 4. Now, a lot of students stop here, and this is where you can drop some marks because we're not totally convinced that this is correct. We need to plug this back into our question, okay? So when we plug this back in, x equals 4. If I plug x equals 4 back into this side of the equation, 3 times by 4 gets me 12 then 12 plus the 12, well, that gets me 24 on this side, okay? Let's plug the 4 back into here. That gets me 20 plus the 4 gets me 24. Well, 24 is equal to 24, so this must be correct. Hopefully that made sense. If you enjoyed this video and you want some more maths videos to follow, then make sure you follow me for more and make sure you like the video.